I am just enjoying this mug of coffee whilst dinner is cooking and I wanted to take this opportunity just to sit down with you all and share with you what's been going on in my journal. This is the cover of the book and I had asked specifically for a square book um, to use as a journal because I love square books. Um, I don't know why, I just prefer it to your normal standard shape of book. Um, and it's all been done in rose gold and it is bound together with some lovely ribbon which I can tie up into a bow and it just looks really pretty. And then here I have some little gems that came with a stitch marker from Elderflower Stitches. I had got a hot air balloon which I love and because these are so tiny I wanted to add them onto the ribbon just to keep them safe. Not so safe when the ribbon is untied though. So you will have seen my first couple of pages. I still need to do a cover. These were the first two pages I did and I've not had a chance to get round to just finishing them off but it won't take me long, 5-10 minutes so I'll get that done um, and I'll be sure to do it before I do my next couple of pages but anyway I selected out a few scrapbooking elements to go with this Battenberg that I made a little while ago and it's basically just elements that will work with the Battenberg and what else is going on in the picture. A gorgeous plate that I placed the Battenberg on and then the background here is the wallpaper in our kitchen with some mugs as well, teacups really. So here I have some lovely gingham ribbon, some satin ribbon, baked with love ribbon which I'm going to use. Now this little rose and little leaves is, is from a scrapbooking pack, card making pack that I got from Aldi a little while ago and I just feel they will reflect the marzipan roses that I made to go on top of the marzipan cake. I just thought it gave it a bit more um, decor to the cake. And then I had done quite a few colour washes of watercolour onto watercolour paper and I'm going to use that with this pretty pattern paper as well. I just feel that works really well. So that will be that side and then over on this side I have a doily and then some paper where the sides have been punched with a border punch and a little stamped notes thing here and this is from my own scrapbooking supplies here and then I've got some lace ribbon, satin ribbon and a little rose clip which is just stunning so I'm going to add those in to this side of the page and I'm hoping it'll all come together really nicely and I cannot wait to show you how it all turns out when it's all done. So I'm really looking forward to doing these and hopefully I'll get that done over the next few days. If not, it'll be at the weekend because I am working over the next couple of days. But um, yeah, looking forward to it.
To the vlogging world. My name is Natalie and I thought it was about time just to upload another video for you all to enjoy. Um, there's not been too much going on in my corner of the world um, but I have been continuing to work on my crochet. I have been working on a little gift for my niece. Um, it was her birthday at the beginning of September. No, the end of September um, so I have just about finished that but I won't have the finished product to show you in this vlog I don't think um, I might do I'll see how it goes um, and I've just been working on little things as well um, so overall I've not really done very much over the last few weeks but I'm going to share with you or a may already have shared with you a couple of things that we did a number of weeks back. Um, I think I mentioned in my last vlog that we had gone to a wildlife reserve over in Montrose which is on the other side of Dundee in Scotland. Um, so I'm just showing a few snippets of that which I think you've seen already at the very beginning um, and throughout the video you will see some clips of some walks that I go on or what I've been making and creating or possibly cooking. Um, I've been baking a little bit. I made some scones a few weeks ago and I've been really enjoying them with some raspberry jam and clotted cream. Um, our Aldi sometimes has clotted cream so whenever I see that it kind of puts me in the mood for scones so I have to make scones. Um, I prefer a scone with jam and clotted cream rather than just butter and jam. I've always been a bit of a cream person, so that's not very good, but it's um, luxurious to have a bit of clotted cream on your scone. And I always put a little bit of butter, then some jam, and then the clotted cream on top. Now, I cannot remember if that's the correct way of doing it, or if that's the way that they do it down in Cornwall. I think they do it the other way around, but that's the way I like it. Anyway, so as I've said, I'm just gonna share some things with you that I've been doing, which has not been a lot. I have been back to my normal working hours, which is a day and a half during the week. Um, I don't work the usual nine till five, five days a week. That's more my husband. Um, so I am more around the house sort of dealing with the whole entire family and doing all the cooking and cleaning the house and all that jazz as, as you do, um, which is fine, but sometimes it can be pretty tiring. Um, and then you have all your own things going on around you that can be quite draining or just tiring. And sometimes you just need to have a good bit of chill out time for yourself um, and other days I listen to my body and I just say right no that can wait the ironing can wait the dishes can wait go sit down read your book for half an hour and I feel all the better for it and the benefit of it is just so good um, I have been doing a lot of walks um, and I have been doing my workouts three days a week, which is great. And I'm, I'm feeling the benefit of that as well, not just mentally, but more the fact that I feel good about myself. Um, now, whether I'm losing weight, I don't have a clue, but I'm not particularly bothered. I think 
it's more about how I feel in myself um, and just the fact that I'm getting up in the morning, having a cup of tea and then I get on my cross trainer once the kids have got on the bus to go to school and I just have half an hour, 40 minutes and that's all I need. Um, I do have to be careful because I've got a hernia just under my belly button so the amount that I do in a workout I really do have to be careful. Um, I do have my hernia under control whereas a number of years ago it was really painful um, and I didn't really know how to control it well at that time um, but no it's it's fine I know how long I can spend doing a workout and I know what to do to make me feel good about myself and I'm pleased about that. Um, my diet it's healthy, it's fine, but I could do with cutting back a bit more on biscuits, crisps, um, maybe the wine as well. I do, we do like a glass of wine, um, but there's nothing wrong with that um, anyway. So we're all keeping well and I hope you're all keeping well too. Um, as I say, I'm just I've just been really tired recently and it's either just from late nights or we've just got quite a lot going on um, or we're too busy sitting, watching Netflix, watching um, different series that we enjoy. We came across a new one just a couple of weeks ago called Cobra Kai and that is based on the Karate Kids and basically they bring back uh, Cobra Kai um, karate team and the actors in that are basically the same people from the original Karate Kids um, with Daniel and it's 25 years on so it's really interesting and it's really good and we've really got into that so we when we watch a series on Netflix we binge watch um, and that's just how we are we enjoy doing that I know not everyone likes doing that that's just what we do. Um, anyway, we've been enjoying that and it's just really strange to see them all growing up. Um, the only person that's not in it is the girl that played Ali. She's not in it, um, Elizabeth Shue. Um, but the bad guy from Cobra Kai and um, Daniel, they're both in it. Um, and it's really quite interesting to see how they kind of get on in it. Um, and the bad guy, Johnny, he, he's actually quite nice in it. Um, and then what else have we been watching? But yeah, that's been really good. So if you're wanting something new to watch and you're into karate, um, have, have a watch of that. Um, what else have we been watching? I can't really think because as I say, we binge watch. So once we finish the series, we move on to another um our son tends to watch quite a lot on netflix and he kind of suggests things to us sometimes which is really nice of him um there is a new series of the crown coming out um i think on the 18th of november so we're looking forward to watching that that'll be really good and the lady that's playing the queen is gillian anderson and she was in the x files now i watched that a long time ago because my mum and dad were into that um, so it'll be really interesting to see that as well. Um, I think that's really about it. So we've had some horrible weather the last couple of days um, where it's been raining non-stop and we have had some good weather as well so that's been great because that's allowed me to get out and enjoy some of the the woods and get a lot of fresh air into my system which is great. Um, so yeah, anyway, enjoy the rest of the vlog, you've probably seen half of it already and I will catch up with you all again very soon and I hope to have more creative things to show you then. So take care of yourselves and I will catch you in the next time which should hopefully be in maybe two or three weeks. So I will see you all later, bye now.
just came to check on my dough that's proving by the fire and look at that lovely rise. I have done this before where I've let it prove beside the fire and it has proven to be the tastiest dough you could imagine. Really good. It's got a lovely sort of stone baked taste to it. So I'm looking forward to my pizza tonight. It's so hot over here, really hot. Hand is burning. But I'm looking forward to that, that'll be really good. All I have to do is make a sauce and cut up the veg. I am laden with project bags here with various projects on the go and there's nothing that makes me any happier than seeing lovely pretty fabrics that hold my projects. Um, I am using my little autumn stitch markers so I've got a little squirrel here which I absolutely love, it's really cute and I've got an acorn somewhere. Um, yeah, this is on a project where it requires a lot of bits and pieces to stitch together. But that's the acorn, which is really nice. Um, but for now, I'm just working on this blanket again because I've not worked on it for a little while. And I just decided that I wanted to just have a bit of quiet time. So I've had a lovely coffee. The pizza dough has been proving really nicely just in front of the fire, as you can see, just over there. And it's nice just to be able to sit down and work on something where I'm not having to read a step-by-step -step pattern. Um, because the project that I've got on here, that's what I'm having to do. So it requires using my brain that bit more. So it's nice just to be able to do a stitch that is repeats all the way and I just feel a bit more relaxed now. I have got my Elderflower Stitches Hot Air Balloon Stitch Marker there which I absolutely love. It's just my colours. It's really sweet. Um, so I'm just going to do a bit more and then I'm going to go and make our pizza sauce and cut up a lot of vegetables for that. So I'm looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. 